Hi everybody, it's a nice bright sunny day out there today. So um, we're gonna do a nice bright, colorful picture. For the younger students, I recommend doing it in colored pencil. For the older students, um, I would recommend maybe uh, like a pastel or a watercolor or a colored pencil as well, either one, whatever you decide. So just to recap what a color uh, opposite is, color opposite, if you take your three primary colors, your yellow, your blue, and your red, if I take yellow, what's left? Blue and red, blue and red make purple. Purple is the color opposite to yellow. If I take blue, what's left? Yellow and red, yellow and red make orange. The color opposite to blue is orange. If I take red away, what's left is green and yellow, green and yellow, sorry, blue and yellow make green. So green and red is the color opposite. So color harmony is if you take a mixed color, like an orange, what made that? Your red and your yellow. So the color harmony to orange is red and yellow. The color harmony to green is yellow and blue. So, and so on. So if I had a green leaf and I wanted to shade a green leaf, I would use blue. That's the color harmony for something cool in the picture for a shadow. If I wanted to highlight the leaf and it was green, I would use yellow. So you're using color harmonies to do those things. So um, keep that in mind when you're choosing your colors on this piece. Have some fun and share it if you can. If not, just enjoy. So for this video, we're going to do a fun little one. Um, I'm going to do some hot air balloons. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start with the shape of the balloon. So I'm going to put one big one right here in the middle. I'm going to put one a little lower right in here. I'm drawing mine with marker just so you're able to see it. But you could do yours in pencil first in case you need to adjust anything. I'm going to put another one tucking in behind this one. Now on a hot air balloon, you're going to have a little basket. So we're just going to start with a square. Make the square just a tiny bit smaller at the base. It's, there's like a hip on the sides of the basket. Okay, now when you're looking at something and you're looking up at it, it's above your eye level. So in this case, I'm going to be able to see the bottom of the basket. So I'm going to just slant two lines in, show the base of the basket, and that way you're looking like you're looking up at it. Okay, a couple more little lines in here for the strings. Now I'm going to add the lines of the balloon. So the balloon lines are going to be curved downward this way because when things are above your eye level, it's going to curve those lines downward. Okay, and you can decide what pattern you want on these. I'm just giving them a few little opportunities for color. Okay, now I'm going to take and add large polka dots on this one. So I'm having some of those polka dots disappear. I'm going to add a, a triangular pattern in here. I'm going to add stripes that kind of poke towards the top. I'm going to do the same here, curving those to go with the balloon. Curving these to go with the bone. In the center area, I'm going to add a big wavy line on this one. Okay, and on this one, I'm going to add just a few more triangular patterns. Reverse the triangles on this one. change it up to whatever you think. Like I'm going to curve, make something a little fancier on this one. I'm 
repeat the pattern. Okay, so now that I've got the, the base of this, I'm just gonna hint a tree line down here, just a little dark tree line because they're way up high in the sky. So I'm gonna do this in chalk pastel. You can use colored pencil, you can use crayon, whatever you like. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dust my background with white chalk. And the purpose for this is to allow us to go in real soft with clouds or the effect of some clouds. So we wanna dust the sheet with white chalk first. Kind of going around my balloons because I don't wanna dull, dull the color on the balloons. Now I'm gonna take a light blue chalk, clean it off and use it on its side. And I'm just creating some openings in my some openings in my clouds here. So it's almost like you're drawing clouds, but really you're actually drawing the spaces that the little bit of sky is showing through. So I'm just gonna kind of rub those in, keep them kind of soft. Yeah, it's good. And you can add a darker blue if you want. You can add a little glow of yellow in there. Yellow is always kind of a nice little bit of color to add into a sky, just a really pale yellow. Just kind of work it between the white and the blue and it gives you um, a little more of that, uh, you know, glow on the horizon. So I'm just gonna take a finger and clean it. So I'm using my finger to blend this because your fingers um, are a little uh, moisture so they don't take the chalk off as much as a Kleenex would. So in this kind of blending, just use um, your finger. So if I want to go in just a little deeper with the blue, I can and just add a few darker spots just to add to that depth in your sky. A little darker down here near the trees. All right. Now we're gonna do the tree line. So on the tree line, I wanna make it kind of, uh, kind of deep. So I'm gonna use a dark green. And I'm just gonna rub that in a little bit. Again, I'm using my finger. If I wanted to add a little more to it, I could take a lighter green. Just add some touches of light on the edges here. Okay. All right, now for colors on your balloon, um, kind of think of nice bright colors to make things show up. So I want you to think of color opposites again. So here's your yellow. Maybe put a yellow stripe on this one. So the color, that's the color opposite to yellow is purple. So with a purple, I'm gonna take and just very lightly put a little bit of purple in around these polka dots. And that's gonna just make my yellow kind of stand out. You can add pink to this purple, you can add blue to this purple to change it. So right now it's just kind of a medium violet, but you can obviously change that to be a different shade of purple. You decide. Okay, and then, you know, you don't always have to use a color opposite. You could use a color harmony. So this is the balloon I wanna show up the most. So this one back here, I want to put a little orange next to my yellow. So that's what would be next to it on the color wheel, going towards the warm side of your color spectrum and leaning in towards the reds. So I could use a red on this balloon. There's your color harmony, but all on the warm side of your color wheel. So this looks really good, but it needs something. So everything is warm, so we need a cool color to make this stand out. 
So a good cool color in this case would be the color opposite to your red. So I'm going to use green. And then notice how much this balloon now really stands out because I've used that color opposite. Okay. Now on this one, we're going to go back to that. I think I'll carry some of that um, green and yellow into this as well, but I'm going to switch to a lime green. Okay. So the color opposite to a lime green is pink. So instead of using a, a bright red, I'm going to use more of a pinky red. Because red is the color opposite to green, but when you have a lime green, it changes and it's more of a pink. Okay. I'm just getting in there. This is where a blending stump would help because you can use a blending stump to get into those little small spaces if you want. And then um, I'm just going to repeat that same pattern up here. I might throw some other colors down. And then for the wicker on my balloons, I'm going to use a cross hatching stroke one way, cross hatching stroke the other way, and just repeat that on all of these to look more like wicker. At the very end, if you've done yours in pencil, you can take your black and you can outline things with a black watercolor pencil or a black a colored pencil or a black marker. Um, all your pencil lines and it'll make all your colors kind of pop in this in this case because it is a little more animated so I would even outline my trees just a bit too with your black so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the final one uh, but I'll let you get a head start on this and uh, try the colors you want and we'll touch base it in a little bit when I have this one all completed and uh, good luck with it and have fun Okay, we're back with the last step of this picture. So after coloring it, you know, um, I'm finding that these balloons, when you first draw them, look just your brain wants to make them a little more oval. So they have a tendency to look more like uh, party balloons from a birthday. So I'm widening this, these back two just a little bit carry your pattern out a little further I'm just using black watercolor pen or I'm just using a black color pencil so just add your color a little bit further out so I'm bringing my orange out a little further and I'm just going to add a little strip of green a little more orange okay and then over here, I'm just taking my, giving me a little hint of the triangle of the orange there and the blue. And again, I've used that color opposite um, in the center area of this balloon here, which is orange and blue. And I'm going to, and that just kind of makes the center of that show up. There's my green. So those guys are done. Now, what makes this look like a hot air balloon? Right now they look like uh, birthday balloons. So what we have to do is, there's one final step. So I have gone in and cleaned up a few edges with black colored pencil, or you can use crayon, whatever. But now what I wanna do is I wanna start at the center top of my balloon and come down and you're gonna create pleats in your balloon. So come through some of your patterns. Notice that I'm always going back to the upper center and then working my way down. So you see how that looks a little more like a hot air balloon? So I'm starting at the center up here and I'm just gonna curve my line with the shape of the balloon. As I get towards the middle, it starts to straighten out and it's gonna always kind of curve with the hips of the balloon. And that gives you your pleats. And just clean up your edge. Okay, I start at the top here. Try not to lean on your picture when you do it, especially if you use the chalk pastel. It does mess up if you 
lean on your picture. You can lean on a scrap piece of paper if you want, if you've used uh, pastel. If you want to clean up any edges, use your knead eraser and that will take off any overflow of color or finger marks. You just keep working the eraser, the dirt into the eraser and it just cleans up your edges. If you're using um, colored pencil, just a regular eraser should be fine. You won't have as many edges to clean up in the colored pencil, but uh, the chalk is kind of, is kind of fun too. All right, so that's your final step. Have fun with that, sign your name, and enjoy.